Why hello, you people from Earth and outer space. It's I, Alexander from the universe. In this episode of Let's Rust, we're going to talk about arrays and how we can use certain data types to store multiple objects. Because as of right now, all we really went through is boring, silly, single types of data, variables that can store one thing and one thing only. An array, on the other hand, is a data type which you can use in order to store multiple variables of the same type. An array is defined like any variable, we do let, and then the name for the array, I suppose an A would be good because we're talking about an array, A as an array, and we're gonna set it equal to something. What are we gonna set it equal to? We're gonna set it equal to two square braces. Don't forget this semicolon there. Inside of here, inside of these two brackets, we can enter a whole lot of values as long as those values are of the same type. For example, we can put in 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 21, 34. Now, some of these are not part of the Fibonacci sequence, but I suppose that's <laughs> that'll have to do. <laughs> it's like odd one out here, or odd two out. Actually, that, that makes more sense to me. Like so, and so we've defined an array now. Now, why on earth would now why on earth would this actually be good? Well, now we have a place that contains all of those values. The a variable contains one, three, five, twenty-one, and thirty-four. Of these integers, but on different positions. If we want to access one of those, for example, inside a print line. We do the good old print line and we say we want to print something out here and then as for the comma in order to access an element from this array these are all called elements there's the first element or the zeroth element when you talk about computer uh, computer stuff <laughs> this is the zeroth element this is the first one the second third fourth and so on uh, when we want to access one of those we put in the variable that has the array set to an array type we say a and then square braces again and then we specify a position the position we want to retrieve an element from or the elements value in this case uh, so we say one for example this would re refer to the first element inside the array which is the three this is the zeroth position the first position second third and so on if we were to run this now open up our handy terminal here we go cargo run it's gonna say three because that's exactly what we are referring to. We're referring to this element here, which is why the terminal does indeed say three. So if we were to say uh, four here instead, as a three, four here instead, it's gonna say, where well, you guessed it, it's gonna say 34 because it's zero, one, two, three, four. This corresponds to 34. But what if we, what if we specify the value, for example, like five, and we tried running this, what's gonna happen is, we get a warning and then all of a sudden it panics. It's like, no, don't do this. It panics at index out of bounds because the length uh, or the len <laughs> length is five, but the index is five. Oh no. So the length of this array is indeed five because it contains five elements. But when we're referring to the fifth index, that refers to the sixth element inside of this array because it's offset by one. So that the first position may start at zero. When accessing a value from an array like this, this in here, this is called subscript notation. And we're accessing an element from an array. The type of this array can be quite interesting as well. Now, just looking at this array here, what kind of type does it have? It has an array type which contains integers and integers only. If we actually wanted to go ahead and specify the type of this, we could go ahead and be like, boom, bam, boom. And inside of those brackets, we put I32, for example. And we're gonna run this now. It's gonna say an error. Because there is one more thing we have to do before we can actually <laughs> do this. We also, just rather than only specifying the type, we also need to specify the length of this array. So. So the type of every single element inside this array is I32, but the length of it is five positions. So if we were to run this now, 
it's gonna work. But we are indeed getting an index out of bounds exception because <laughs> you're failing miserably. There we go. So now it's gonna say 34 and the array type is this. Uh, so we need to specify the length as well and that will nicely, that we're nicely defining it in here. There is, however, one more interesting thing you can do with arrays. Uh, if you wanted to, say, initialize an array to be of a certain size, there is an array initialization shorthand, and this is totally stupid. <laughs> I shouldn't, shouldn't put that there. Uh, there is an array initialization shorthand, which means we can define set many elements inside this array to a certain value. Say we want 34 elements all set to the value 13. Now first we type in the value we want to set, set them all to and and then we do a semicolon here and then we type in the number of elements we want to have inside this array which is 34. So we want 34 elements all set to the value 13. So no matter what index a call as long as it's inside the array <laughs> we are going to get the output of 13. And if we wanted to make sure that the length is actually 34, rather than type printing out a certain index of this, we could do a dot len, which is the length of an array. So we'll do that. And it appears I'm totally messing up today. We, we're gonna need to put a, some brackets around there. <laughs> That's how we retrieve the length. It's a function. And so we do that we're like bam. And all of a sudden, it says 34, because the length is indeed 34. Isn't that great? But how does mutability work as for arrays? The mutability? Can you change it for every element? No, 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 no. We're talking about mutability as for arrays is you need to make the entire array mutable if you want it to be mutable. So we we'll run this. It's going to be like, bam, cool. Uh, for example, now, now that this array is mutable, we can actually change its values to say we had we're printing out position zero here. We could say a zero and assign that to uh, 21, for example. Now that we're printing this out, it's gonna say 21, but if this wasn't mutable, bada bam boom, error. <laughs> so arrays are really nice ways of storing a whole lot of data inside the same structure without having to store everything in their own unique variables and everything gets messy and stuff. So arrays are good. Know them? Love them? Uh, I, I, I don't know. Why goodbye, you people from Earth and outer space? Feel free to leave a comment stating something that are hilarious or perhaps even a like. Until next time.